Hey guys, so I've been experimenting with the golden fluid and the cloud effect since before and it is not working at all. My mixture of Artist Loft and with the satin enamels with the golden fluid just kills the paint. So I'm not going to say how much paint that I just wasted, but it's a lot. But there's one thing I have not tried. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this now. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to prepare it. I'm going to be putting the satin enamels into my golden fluid paint. And all I'm using is Liquitex Pouring Medium and the white titanium white. No GAC 800. Okay, so I'm going to start by mixing that first. Now the only problem with this is that this mixture is going to be thicker than my colors. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to add some water to make them, to make them the same consistency as best as I can. Okay, so I have my Decor Satin Enamels. Oh my god, I hope this works out. I seriously, I have to not think about all the golden fluid I just wasted. And I'm not going to put a lot because it reacted so freaking much. I'm scared right now. Okay, I'm just going to put that much in. <laughs> um, don't ask about ratios, you guys. Please don't ask. I don't know. I just eyeballed this. Okay, so it's actually not so bad because probably because of all the pouring medium and the fact that I didn't put a lot of the satin enamels, but I'm still going to put a tad of water. There. Yeah, that looks good. I'm going to go with that. And I'm going to work on a mini 8x8 just to start off, just to see if it works, and then I'll go bigger. I'm afraid. <laughs> All right, let me set my camera up and I am going for this. Okay, so I have some phthalo turquoise. Then I'm going to put my white. Some nickel azo gold. Oh, already I can see that it's not killing everything like it did before. I know you guys don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm telling you the mix of deco art and satin enamels should not be tried as a cloud effect. You're just going to waste so much paint. You know what? I think I'm just going to go with that. The canvas is so small. Or maybe just a little bit more of Nicolazzo gold. There. Oh yeah, already much better than before. It's already going this way, so I'm gonna try and make it even.
Well, this is interesting for a first try. I'm going to fix my sides. All right, you guys, so since that worked out pretty well, I'm going to try again, except on a 12 by 10. I have my same um, white paint mixture there, and I'm just going to put the nickel azo gold on the bottom this time because uh, there's like none left in the other painting. Yay! Oh my god. I'm happy that it worked though because I, gosh, I experiment so much you guys, you have no idea. And when it finally works, yay. What's fun about Golden is the way that the paints dry. They dry so pretty. So, I mean, if you can get something cool and different with them, why not? Okay, I'm going to go with that. You can really see the rings, like the lines that define everything. It's crazy. I can't pour a perfect circle. <laughs> oh yay, I got my orange on the top. I'm super hooked on orange these days. The trick for the cloud pours is you really gotta stretch them out. Anyways, it's fun to take your time. I don't I don't like fluid paintings that are done in like 30 seconds. Wow. <laughs> I think those are the biggest clouds I've ever gotten. Seriously. That right there is freaking huge. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop now because just in case I ruin it. And I know that corner, the corners aren't filled, but I'm going to go in with my finger.
Yeah, I'm afraid to ruin it, so I'm gonna stop. Alright you guys, so my god, this is stretched out so much. It morphed like crazy. The clouds are huge. I would love to do this on a huge canvas. And check out those little mini lines. I only see that in the golden fluid. It does that sometimes. You see those little sort of circles there? They're not cells, they're like, I don't know, but it really only does that with golden. I'm loving it, even though it's stretched out like crazy. Now the first one that I did extremely morphed, like, I don't know, I'm not liking it. I'm going to wash it off actually so I don't waste the canvas. But it was my first try, so you can see how much it changed. Now, while I was waiting, I used my leftovers and I did a small one here, which is kind of cool. Like, I poured my center off, obviously, and it kind of looks like a normal fluid painting, but cloudy. Super interesting. So I'm going to keep that one and this one, and I'm going to wash off that one. So stay tuned for the dried result. So I'm back with the dried result. These are not varnished, but you can see the shine. That's from the pouring medium. And of course, the gorgeous colors. Gosh, I love how these dry. And something really cool happened during the drying process. Those little circles that were only in the orange and a bit there in the blue, they appeared everywhere in the white also. So it looks like there's texture. And look in that part too. It looks like there's texture, but as you can see, it's flat. So cool. I'm really liking that little sort of cell-like cloud effect there. And the overall look <laughs> is awesome. I cannot wait to do this again. And this one, something happened to this one. It fell off the side. I left and I didn't check it. And you know what? I'm loving it. This is normally like something that would happen that I would be pissed off about, but it's just not making me pissed off at all here. I'm calling this a happy accident. There's something about the overall look of this painting it just does it for my eyeballs. Super small and simple and very earthy. All right, hope you guys like this. Have a good one.